The main things you're going to need for this look is a makeup palette, the spatula is optional, some face paints, a couple of paint brushes, you want a larger one and then a smaller one for more detailed work, a couple of makeup sponges and some water. First thing you want to do is take a little bit of the red and a little bit of the yellow and mix them together to get the right shade of orange that you want. So once you've mixed the shade to the colour you want, you want to cover the entire hand in a really good coat of orange and don't forget to get in between the fingers and also in the thumbnails. Mix a darker reddish brown and then here I'm going to start creating the illusion of a jawline. So bring it around the base of the hand and gradually blend it out. Now taking the other side of the sponge we're going to be taking the white, apply it along the thumb and then also just on the side of the knuckle. Mix the colours together to get a brownish colour, more on the reddish side than a blue side. And we're going to place this in between the fingers. So just roughly at first. You can even use a brush when be a little bit more heavy handed if you want. Then once you've done that, you want to blend it out so that it blends into the rest of the face paint. And the same colour along the base of the finger. And then again blend it out. Before you move on to painting the stripes you want to look at your hand and make sure that you've blended out everything absolutely perfectly because once you've painted the stripes you can't go back. With a thick paintbrush, or you can even use a script makeup brush, you're going to take the black and we're going to paint the ear. Don't worry about being too neat at this point, it's mainly just about getting the main details and then afterwards we're going to refine them until they're completely neat. So draw the stripes. If you're a little bit confused about how to get realistic tiger stripes, something I would suggest you do is pull up a few pictures on Google of tigers and then just imitate the stripes there. Worst case scenario, you could just imitate the natural cracks in your skin. Now moving on to drawing the eye, you want to draw the rough shape, put in a few details like whiskers. Now draw in the lines around the eye, filling them in. Again, you don't have to be too neat at this point. And draw out the shape of the nose. If you're not too confident with blending small details with a paintbrush or your fingers, just take a wet cotton bud and gently blend out the ends. This part's the most important part, the eye. So first thing you're going to do is fill it with a really thick coat of yellow. Now with a really tiny detailed brush, you want to just create a few really rough red lines around the edge. Don't worry, we're going to blend this in a minute. Blend it out with a cotton bud again. And then you want to take a really thin brush. You can even use a toothpick if you want. And draw really fine red lines all around the corners of the eye. Then again, once you've done this, you want to blend it out. And with a really thick black dot, place a dot right in the middle of the eye. And then with the white, create some highlights. Now that you've painted the eye, the majority of the look is done, so all you have to do now is go for the little details. So create the eyelashes, 
We're also going to finish off the ear. At this point, if you notice little areas that you might have missed, just go over them. Also, don't forget the nose. You want to mix it so that you get a really nice, healthy pink look. Finish with a few extra stripes and tiny details like the whiskers or a few dots. And that's it, you're done.